What's up, everybody? It is Roche Ball, you guys. And I'm here chilling. I'm off work, so whatever. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick video. I just got through doing one of the hardest things. Not too hard, but something that I know needed to be done to show like my self-worth and to show myself that, hey, I'm worth it. And this is not something you're going to be dealing with. Here is what you need to deal with which is with yourself, how you treat yourself, that's showing your self-worth. And here's what you're not going to be dealing with to show that, to show more self-worth. You know, there are things that you have to deal with to show your self-worth, and there are things that you shouldn't deal with to show your self-worth. And what I did today is I had to let somebody go. Now, this person, I was not in a relationship with them. I met them off of a dating website. And we started talking. Everything was cool. He gave me his number. Everything was fly. Met him at a park. And then after that, some maybe a week or two passed. And I um, reached out to him again. And I, you know, I met him up. I met with, I met up with him again. Everything was cool. After that, there was no talk, no anything. He followed me on all of my social media platforms. And all I saw was a bunch of me reaching out to him. He never cared to ask how I'm doing unless. He was responding to me initial, initially, and initially, I reached out to him. And the only time I heard from him is when he was responding to my first initial text. Like, when I would text him first, he would respond. But he never initialed it. Like, he never asked me, hey, how you doing? Out of nowhere. It was always me reaching out to him. And I got tired of that. So, one day on my stories i had put like it was an interracial couple and i put absolutely because of their happiness you know what i mean and plus i like interracial couples it's, it's fine i don't have nothing against it and he commented on it put he was like oh f this world don't do it i ain't did it and i never have he was like don't do it please don't do it and all this stuff and i'm thinking nigga if you're not gonna make me your woman don't tell me what to do and what not to do when it comes to a relationship if you're not trying to make me your woman don't tell me anything but I didn't say that. But in my mind, I'm thinking, and I should have said it. But in my mind, I was thinking, are you going to make me your woman? And if you would have said no, I would like, I would have been like, well, don't tell me anything about who to be with and who not to be with. So I'm like, F the swirl and all this other stuff. And he's like, I ain't with that. And like, for me, it doesn't matter. I'm one of those love is love type people. And... I'm going to be with whoever makes me happy. And I'm going to be with whoever gives me the time of day. And if it's a Hispanic, if it's a Chinese person, if it's a white guy, if it's a, you know, anybody from a different race, then that's fine. Even if it's another black guy. But you ain't trying to make me your woman. So what do you care? And I told him, I said, well, it just seems like, you know, when I do, I said, I said, don't get me wrong. I do love my black guy. I do love black men. Don't get me wrong. I do love black men. But it seemed like the ones that I like never give me a time of day. They don't like me like that. He didn't respond to that at all. He didn't say nothing. So days go by. I text him, hey, how are you? How's your racing going? Because he likes, you know, he does builds fast cars from scratch and does an engine thing, horsepower type thing, all that. And um, he does racing stuff or whatever, but whatever. I don't care if I'm telling a little bit of his business, whatever. I ain't naming no names. But anyway, and once again, it's, oh, it's good. How are you? And I put, oh, great. You would think there'll be some more to say. Like, maybe he'll be like, so, you know, when you want to meet up again or, hey, when you want to go out, nothing. And it lets me know that this man just likes a lot of people reaching out to him, but he don't plan on reaching, like, initially reaching out to them. And I looked on his Facebook and I looked on his Instagram and I noticed he's following a bunch of women and a bunch of women is following him. Now, he do got some guy friends that he follow, but he only comments off of when guys like his homeboys and stuff and his racing buddies and all that respond to him. But if a girl puts, oh, you are so fly, he don't say nothing about it. I have put, oh, those cars look great. He don't say nothing about it. Somebody had put happy birthday, look at me, and then they'll call him sexy and daddy and all kind of other stuff. He don't respond to it. But let somebody talk about, oh, man, you got another whip? Oh, that's dope. He's like, yeah, man, how your car coming along? This and that, and it's just like, that's it. So today, I blocked him from all social media platforms, from Facebook. I have three Instagram pages, one for my cat. One for my art and one a personal one. And I blocked him from all of them. I'm not going to go back. 
to see what he's doing. I don't even know why I kept him on. I had to say, nah, uh-uh. Me still having you on, us following each other, knowing we don't speak to each other. Well, knowing you don't speak to me, but I speak to you. It's like, why am I, why am I keeping you on for? I used to keep ex-boyfriends and stuff on so they can see what I'm doing now. <sighs> but I realized that's stupid because that's not me being genuinely happy. And that's not me totally moving on. So I blocked him and I was sad about it as I continued work. It was like around lunchtime and I came back to work. I was kind of sad about it. So I was kind of doing work. I felt like I wanted to cry because it's sad to me that I liked him so much. And when I try to put myself out there, let people know how I feel. It don't get reciprocated. That hurts my feelings because it's like, who are you? You think you're too good to say it back? Or even if you don't feel that way, you think it's okay to just ignore me? Or, or what, what is that? You're a 46-year-old grown-ass man with a whole-ass son who's grown. And you still ghosting people like this is high school? Leave that for the kids. You are a grown man. Why are you like doing this whole ghosting thing? Or feeling like I'm going to respond to whenever I want to respond to. So for me, to show my self-worth and to show me that, look, don't keep him on because the more I keep these ex-boyfriends and stuff on or that guy, if I would have never blocked that guy, I would have been saying to myself how much I'm worth. It's like, you you, you feel like you're worth this? Oh, you, you ain't talking to him. You know what it is. Okay, you know he don't want you, but you're going to keep him on still? He's a waste of Instagram space. He's a waste of Facebook space. I already don't have his number anymore. I don't I don't feel the need to babysit people who don't want nothing in their own life. Or they want to pick and choose what they want in somebody else. It's just... So um, eventually I'll get over this little hurt about letting them go. But I, you know, it's like, look, I can't I have to remind myself, he don't want you. He didn't want to talk to you. You've always spoke up to spoke with him, but he never spoke to you. Like out of nowhere. He never asked me how I was doing. He only responded to my initial text, but he never ever asked me how I was doing. So all of that should tell me that my self-worth is so important. My sanity, my peace is so important. And whether he used to just stare at a bunch of my stories all the time, look at my stories, but look at my stories, look at my stories. But now you ain't going to see them no more because I bet you when you want to talk to me, I'm not going to be there. And some people don't care that you left. And that may be what he's probably going to do, not not care. Like, oh, she out, next. I ain't want to talk to her anyway. But I don't know what he's thinking, but he won't be able to find me no more. And maybe that should teach him to, you know, give a person a time of day that's giving you the time of day. It kind of reminds me of, if anybody's familiar with the movie Car Wash, how TC kept going to the diner to pursue Mona. If you look at Car Wash and you know who these people are, and she was looking for a tall, handsome guy with a lot of money. She told TC, which is the one that pursued her, I don't mess with niggas no more. You ain't got no money. Whatever she was telling him. And he had to tell her one day, look, you ain't going to find the guy you're looking for. I'm your prince. And towards the end, she ended up, like, getting with him. Like, or she ended up going out with him. But it's like, why did it have to take all of that? Some people still look for a woman or a man to look a certain way. And they make outer appearance more of a priority than how they want to be treated. There are pretty women out there. There are good looking men out there, but they will treat you like crap. Some of them. You should have went with Steve Urkel because Stefan Arkell and all that. No, I'm just saying, but um, that was a stupid analogy. But I was just, I'm just saying, like, it's the truth. Like, you ain't going to find nobody like me. I mean, you probably will, but um, or maybe you might find somebody better. I don't know. I'm not trying to belittle myself, but I'm just saying. I'm a homie chick, but I bet you I'll have your bath water ready. But I bet you um, I'll have your dinner ready. But I bet you you come home to a clean house. But I bet you you'll come home with home-cooked meals. But I bet you you'll come home and guess what I did? Paid all the bills. I ain't going to have a problem with you playing... What you going out with your homeboys? 
I don't have a problem with you having female friends just as long as they respect the fact that I'm in your life and they ain't going to be hanging out in our headquarters called master bedroom. She can still be your friend, but she better know her boundaries. That's all. That's the kind of person I am. I'm, I'm not, I'm secure, but I'm not stupid. You know, but at the same time, it's like people are going to pick who they want to pick. People are going to just decide to do what they want to do. And sadly, it's people like me. And other good men and women out there who just want to treat a woman right. Who just want to treat a man right. They don't They don't ever pick us. Because it's like we don't fit the bill of the outer appearance that they're looking for. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about myself. And usually I don't really like to express things this way. Because to me, like I said, outer appearance don't matter. Size don't matter. So, this same guy that I had to let go, he has a foot fetish. So, of course, in the beginning, you know, he wanted to see a picture of me. Then he wanted to see a picture of my feet. So, I sent him a picture of my feet. And he was like, hey, you know, I like those toes that is like the big one. Then the second one. Second one, he said, I like when the big toe is taller than the rest of the toes. My feet, my big toe is smaller than my second toe. That's just how... God made it, and I'm satisfied with it. It took a long time for me to really love myself from head to toe, and I ain't gonna let nobody crush that. I don't care how fine you are. But anyway, so I said, well, I like my feet. That's what I told him in the beginning. After that, that was cool. He still wanted to meet me. This is before we first met. We ended up meeting, and he was like, hey, can you wear some sandals? So I'm like, I don't know if I wanna wear any sandals, but I think, you know, since you came all this way, let me go ahead and just go ahead and wear some sandals. It wasn't that cold, so I was like, let me go ahead and wear some sandals. But while he's so busy talking about how he wants his women's feet to look, I never once said, how big is your penis? Because if it ain't thicker than a hot link in 10 inches, I wonder how many men would feel a certain way if women did that because they want a, a woman with big titties with a matching ass and a flat stomach, long hair that's real. But how many men have ever been told, well, how big is your penis? Because if it ain't as big as I want it to be, as pretty as you want me to look, then you don't need to be talking. But anyway, you guys. I'm on my way back to the cafeteria just to sit there until it's time for me to go on and go home. So that's all I got to say. I'm, I'm out.